Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is August 27, 2022. Good late afternoon. We're going to read from the New Testament, from the book of 2 Peter, verse 1, chapter chapter 1, verse 12 to the end, which is 21. Uh, again, Peter is apostle number one, uh, the, the main apostle that Jesus called his rock, that the church was going to be built on him. So... What is second? What is he telling us in Second Peter? He's talking about the prophecy of the scriptures and how they saw it fulfilled. So he, he's he's an eyewitness to the glory of Christ, and he's talking about how prophetic messages come from God, not from people. So let's go ahead. and We're going to read Second Peter, chapter one, verse twelve through twenty-one. So I'll, I will always remind you of these things, even though you know them and are firmly established in the truth you now have. I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in the tent of this body, because I know that I will soon put it aside as our Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me. And I will make every effort to see that after my departure you will always be able to remember these things. For we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son whom I love, with him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. We also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable, and you will do well to pay attention to it, as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets, though human, speak, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. May God bless the reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.